AMS Artificial Intelligence and Global Security Summit um, here. I'm Richard Fontaine, president of the Center for New American Security. And um, we're really excited this morning to bring uh, everybody together around this set of issues um, where artificial intelligence and national security issues and matters uh, coincide. Um, it's an area that um, has gotten some uh, attention, increasing amounts of attention um, in the recent uh, months, and we think really ripe for a discussion like the one that we have in mind today. Um, if you look around uh, the world, you can see uh, the activity uh, accelerating in this space. Um, you know, President Putin of Russia recently said that uh, the country that leads in artificial intelligence will rule the world. Uh, the Chinese have put out uh, a very ambitious um, artificial intelligence national strategy. Uh, our friends uh, in the United Arab Emirates recently uh, named what I think is the world's first uh, minister for uh, artificial intelligence. Um, and uh, the United States is making uh, investments uh, within the Department of Defense and in other places in these areas. Um, and of course, it's having a broader impact uh, on our society, our economy, and the way we think about security. So um, this is what we wanted to um, bring everybody together to talk about today. Um, thanks to all of you for coming. Uh, thanks to everybody who is tuning in via our live stream. And I also wanted to thank um, our event sponsors who helped uh, make today possible. Uh, that is Spark Cognition, Unisys, CSRA, and Morgan Stanley. Um, let me just say uh, a quick word about the Center for New American Security. Uh, we are a bipartisan think tank here in Washington, um, and we're dedicated to finding bipartisan, um, pragmatic, and principled solutions to some of the toughest national security challenges face the United States and the world. Um, one of the challenges that uh, we undoubtedly will face is how we adapt as a country um, how we adapt with our allies and how we adapt our national security outlook uh, to the changes that are arising from advances in artificial intelligence. Uh, today's summit is the signature fall event of our technology and national security program, uh, and it's the kickoff event for that program's new artificial intelligence and global security initiative. Uh, to tell you a bit more about uh, CNAS's efforts that are underway in the AI sphere, I'm going to turn it over in just a minute here to Paul Shari. He's our uh, program director, our director of our technology and national security program. He's also the author of a forthcoming uh, book on how artificial intelligence is changing warfare. Um, that book is uh, called Army of None. Uh, auto autonomous Weapons in the Future of War. Um, it'll be coming out in April 2018. I don't know if it's available for early uh, orders yet, but if not, then... Oh, it is available for early orders. So, you know, um, we only have a couple months before Christmas, uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that would make a, a, nice, uh, a nice sort of gift. Um, but in any event, let me uh, turn it over to uh, Paul to tell you a bit more about our initiatives and about the summit uh, today. But thank you again uh, for being being here this morning. Thanks, Richard. Um, we're at the beginnings of a new industrial revolution, this one powered by artificial intelligence and machine learning. We've seen incredible gains in the past few years in artificial intelligence. And we've now been able to, through a combination of uh, more advanced processing power, large data sets, and some tweaks to what in many cases are some older algorithms, we were able to solve some very difficult problems that have been intractable for decades. We can do things like natural language processing and image recognition. And we're seeing this technology be applied to a range of industries, healthcare, transportation, finance, many others. This will undoubtedly have many national security applications as well. So things like advanced cybersecurity, more intelligent sensors, more sophisticated autonomous vehicles, decision tools to help humans make decisions, these are things that would be very valuable, things that are opportunities for the United States, but also things that others might do that we want to prepare for and begin to anticipate. But there are also deeper changes underway. 
We know from past industrial revolutions that key underlying technologies like electricity and the internal combustion engine kicked off a broad societal process of industrialization that led to major shifts in political and economic power. These are shifts both domestically and globally countries rising or falling in terms of the, their power on the global stage, and even key changes in the fundamental building blocks of national power. So with coal and steel producing nations becoming more powerful, oil becoming a key global resource, shifts in geostrategic importance, with some regions of the world becoming more important. So what does that look like in an era of artificial intelligence? What are those key drivers of strategic advantage? Is it human capital? Is it data? How do we identify those and harness those so that the United States stays ahead of competitors? And how do we think about this in an adversarial context? Because many of these technologies, they they're very powerful, but they also have limitations. So if data is an area of competition, how do we think about data theft and data poisoning? How do we think about some of the, the capabilities, but also the limitations of these systems, some vulnerabilities? We're going to have experts talk today about some of the weaknesses in the current forms of narrow artificial intelligence. Some of the brutalness, the concerns that a learning system might learn the wrong thing, um, and then it does something that's unexpected. Could be good in some settings. We've seen that in things like AlphaGo, playing the game of Go, coming up with new types of moves. So how do we think about integrating these systems with humans in our operations? These are some of the things that we're tackling in CNAS's Artificial Intelligence and Global Security Initiative, a major initiative that we've launched this year that'll go for several years. And today is the kickoff event for this multi-year initiative. I'm very excited that you're here with us today in person on the live stream to share this. We have a very impressive array